We just finished shooting the last lesson of the automations workshop. It's awesome workshop. Everybody here are super excited. I want to give you for free one of the lessons. It's the workflows overview. It will give you a feeling of what you can expect out of the workflows. It will show you the different triggers, the different actions. I think it's very cool. If you like to register to this workshop that's starting next week, uh, there is a link in the description below. Enjoy the lesson. Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to concentrate on the workflow rules and see the workflow rules with a bird's eye view. We are not going to dive into details. I just want you to know what can you expect out of working with the workflow rules. Let's first click on the workflow rules and let's click on create role. Okay, let's select, for example, the leads and we'll call it a test and we'll start. Good. So as you can see, the first question that Zoe is asking us is basically when. When do you want to initiate the automation? A very basic question. In this case, you will have three different options. When something happens on the record, as an example, record is being created, or maybe created and edited, or maybe just edited, or maybe a specific field was edited. All those will be something that happens on the record. And when I'm saying a record, in this case, it will be for the leads module. When a lead is created, when a lead is edited, when a lead is deleted, or maybe uh, a specific field, okay? Maybe when the account name is changing, something will happen. So that will be the trigger. Think about it like a gun. You click the trigger and then something happens. Next, you have the date time. Any field that is a date or date time will be in this area. Any time, for example, that a lead is being created. Okay, so this is on lead creation or maybe one month after or maybe uh, one day after one week. And you can do it also based on, on uh, specific minutes, 15 minutes before, 15 minutes after. You will be able to trigger the automation. And that's extremely useful when you are going to initiate workflows when a daytime field is being changed. As an example, when, for example, a meeting is ending, you like to make sure that your employee created a description. So he actually entered a description into the meeting. So you know that he actually took some notes and you have lots of different cases for the daytime. So both the record action and the daytime, both of them are very useful. The last one will be score based. And if you don't know what are the scoring rules, please go to my YouTube channel. I have multiple videos about the scoring rules. Very cool uh, feature in Zo. Every time that points are being increased or deducted, you will be able to initiate automation. Not really a common use for workflows, but it's also available for you. In my case, I'm going with create just so we have something to work with. Next is the condition. The condition will be a condition on when to execute this automation. As an example, when a lead is being created, if I will click on all leads, any lead that is being created will go through this workflow and it will get executed 100% of the times. If I will click on leads matching certain conditions, I will say that if the city is Toronto, only then execute this workflow. So if the lead is created and the city is not Toronto, it's New York this lead is not going to be executed using this flow, even though that it was created. Okay, so the condition will be a filter that we're pushing through those leads. The next one will be actions. 
and the actions might be instant actions that are going to take place immediately or scheduled actions that we can run in the future. As an example, this is very useful when I like to send a drip campaign. So let's assume that the lead comes in and I like to send him five different messages. One message right now and four messages one hour apart. I will be able to do it using the scheduled actions. So that will be one hour from now. I want to send an email as an example. Okay. So the scheduled uh, actions would be very useful for all the drips that we are going to do in the future. The instant actions will have field update. As an example, updating a specific field in the leads module. For example, let's assume that when the lead comes in and he's from Toronto, I like to change the lead priority to I priority because Toronto will be a, an area that I like to concentrate on. And I think that people from Toronto will be great for my business. So I can change the priority based on the city. I will also be able to automatically assign owners. As an example, when a lead comes from Toronto, I can assign it to Josh because Josh is dealing with leads from Toronto. Tags. If you like to assign tags for specific cases, you can also assign or remove based on the criteria that you set here. For example, if the lead is from Toronto, then I can assign a lead, Canadian lead, as an example. I can notify using email, which means whenever a lead comes in from Toronto, I will send him an email with Canadian flag, something that will show that I'm also from Canada, so he will feel trust with me. So you will feel comfortable with me and there will be some trust. So you can also send emails. You can send click messages. Let's assume that you just assigned Joe for this lead, but you can also send Joe a click message that will say, Hey Joe, you just received a new lead. Leave what you're doing. Call the lead. We need to close some business here. Okay. So so click will be also a way for you to notify the uh, people. Next one is a task. Let's say that in this case, whenever there is a lead from Toronto, I can assign a task to Joe to schedule a demo with the client. So Joe will know what he needs to do with this lead, except of the first meeting that he's going to conduct with him. You can also create a new record. And the new records are very uh, cool when you are dealing with related modules. Let's assume that whenever a lead comes in, I will create a new record in another module, in a different related module that this module is dealing with demos. So every time that I'm registering a demo, I can create a new record for this demo and the demo will be related to the lead. So that's something also that we are going to do later on in the process. You can also convert automatically. As an example, let's assume that the lead is not from Toronto, but let's assume that I will have here a field name meeting scheduled. If the meeting is scheduled already, so the lead comes in after he scheduled the meeting, I don't need him as a lead anymore because a meeting for me is a conversion. So I will automatically convert the lead to a contact and an opportunity right? Because I don't need people to click now on the lead and convert it manually when I know that this is part of my business rules. This is how my business functions. Next one, you will have the webbook. A webbook is a cool way to notify a third party application about something related to this lead. Maybe pushing this lead to constant contact or to MailChimp or active campaigns or maybe drop a voicemail for this lead based on this webbook. So the webbook for you is just a way to extend the functionality of Zosira. And the last one, which is the coolest one, that will be a function using Zodeluge. And that's something that we are going to do after this workshop, 
we are going to have a Zoe Deluge course and we are going to dive into Zoe Deluge in details. And I will show you also lots of different examples during this uh, live and recorded sessions. So hopefully you will see what I see when dealing with Zoe CRM automations.